Hey guys, this is Karen Sassy with Rainbow Mosaics and Mosaic Mentoring, and I wanted to share with you uh, my process for doing a stained glass mosaic pet, pet portrait. Um, what I did was I'm using a hydroband board, which is a lightweight uh, waterproof board. Then I took my image and I glued it down on the board. First I enlarged it, then I glued it down on the board using MAC glue, and then I put a layer of MAC glue on top of the image. And what that did was it gave me a waterproof surface to work on. Problem is, is it had a sheen. So what I've done is I've taken sandpaper. Uh, I started out with this uh, 60 grit and then I moved up to a 120 grit and I gave it a little once over, a couple times over. Now it did pull up just a teeny bit with the 120 grit when I did it too hard. So I recommend just being careful, just taking your time and being patient to get that sheen off. Because what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a waterproof surface to use your weld bond. The advantage of this is, let's say I put these pieces down and I don't like one of the pieces. So what I do, and the weld bun's dry. Normally, if you pull a piece off, it's gonna pull the image with it. So what you do when you've got weld bond is you take a little dropper and you drop some water in there. And I'm using a needle nose bottle for that dropper. And you just drop a teeny bit of water on that piece and what's gonna happen is that weld bond's gonna reconstitute it's going to knock that piece loose and you're not going to ruin your image because this is a waterproof surface because MAC glue is waterproof. So what that's going to do is allow you to make changes. Um, we all make changes. That's just what happens. You don't expect to put your pieces down and not pull them back up, but I didn't want to ruin the picture. So that was my method of doing it. I don't know if it's anybody else's method. I just kind of figured it out um, based on my knowledge of adhesives and I think it's going to work. <laughs> um, then what I did is I took a pencil, let me see if you can see it, and I started drawing the ondimento. There we go. You can see it there. And I started drawing the ondimento using my image on my iPad right in front of me so I can get a real good feel. I laid all of my glass out by value and what I did was I took a photograph in black and white to ensure that I've got the value scale correctly for the eye because this eye has lots of different values in it and also has that little bit of brown in the um, aqua. So what I'm using is some of these pieces of glass have streaky brown in them. So I make sure that I use the right colors. So that's where I'm at and bit by bit, I'll work my way through. I'm probably gonna switch from pencil to um, maybe marker. I don't know, we'll see. Depends on how confident I get. I don't wanna screw up. The nice thing about pencil and the nice thing about pencil on the Mac um, is I actually have one of these pencil erasers and with a little brush on the end and I can actually erase my lines and it doesn't ruin the surface. So still have my picture. So I might stick with pencil. I just started it. This is my first pet portrait. Um, many years of mosaic experience, but never a pet portrait. So I'm excited to be doing this and I will share my progress along the way.